What's going on guys? Big Spoon here back for another video. We're, we're streaming uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons today and I've got some friends over on my island and we got our wetsuits ready, our bodies are ready and we're going to be diving into the deep blue. We're going to be catching some deep sea creatures, hanging out, just kind of chilling today. So it's going to be a pretty chill stream seeing what we can catch out here. And I'm going to start the stream off by doing a gigantic cannonball right behind Kayla. Boom. Almost landed on your head, man. I could have broke your neck. But anyways, want to say what's up to everyone coming in the stream. Jack, AJ, Bane KK, Natalia, Maybe I'm Tired, FC, Sal Garcia, Tiger Cookie, Janita Queen, girl, Grayson. What's going on, guys? Uh, how's life? Life is, it's going pretty good. Pretty good. I've been busy lately, so I apologize for not being able to stream these, uh, these past, uh, it's probably been about a week now, hasn't it? It's been a little while, so, yeah, but life kind of got in the way a little bit, but, uh, we're back. It's been a little while. Good to be back. And, by the way, there's, like, seven other people on this stream, by the way. Caleb was one of them right behind me, but, yeah, everyone's kind of doing their own thing right now, just hanging out, but maybe I'll, uh, I'll catch them in the sea at some point, and it looks like Caleb's, he's trying to, I got some competition over here, he's trying to uh, steal my deep sea creatures, but you know what, it's okay, I already caught that one, so it's, it's alright. Natalie, or Natalie Schmidt, what's up, it's Tails YT, Red Gamer, Seabus JF, what's going on guys, anything new, anything new in anyone's life, anything you want to share? By the way, I love some of you guys' uh, your moments that you shared, your most embarrassing moments on that community tab to get in on this. That was that was awesome. You guys had some pretty good stories on there. And I don't know if I can even top that. Like, I think I'd have to think of my most embarrassing moment. A moon jellyfish. Ooh. wonder if that would taste on a peanut butter sandwich. There's a Nintendo Direct on the 20th of July. Are you serious? I'm going to have to look that up. Shoot, if, if there's a direct on the 20th, I'm going to have to stream that. I want to be so hyped if there's actually an Nintendo Direct. I know they were talking about that. Like They're like, you know, how are we going to do the next announcement? You know, uh, I kind of thought it was just going to be where Nintendo dropped trailers on their channel. You know, kind of like what they did with uh, Paper Mario. But hey, if they're having a Nintendo Direct, I'm cool with that. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to look that up here in just a little bit. Natalia got Mortal Kombat. Nice. How are you liking that so far? You know, I haven't caught a pearl yet. I don't know how many of you guys have caught pearls in the ocean, but I'm still trying to find my first pearl. AJ's embarrassing moment. He needs a hug for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys, you, you guys did have some embarrassing moments. I don't know if I can top that. AJ's right behind me, actually, with his crown. Hope that crown doesn't fall off in the sea, man, or else I'll have to take that. Well, let's see what you get. What are you finding? Oh, you got a... Is that a sea anemone? Nice catch. Hopefully you guys catch some new uh, creatures while you're out here on my island. Uh, Espeon64, what's going on? We actually already have a full island, but like I uh, said in my description box, if you keep an eye out on my community tab post, you can uh, join future events. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and keep an eye out on those community tab posts for a chance to join in on some of these uh, events that we do. Yeah, Janita, can we have the same mask on? Yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of options for wetsuits at the moment. I think there's a, there's a few. There might be like four wetsuits, but uh, hopefully we find more in the future. You know, it'd be cool if you can customize wetsuits with a custom design. I don't know if you can do that, but if we can get that in a future update, if we're not able to do it already, that would be sick. What are we going to get? What is this? I'm getting a lot of the same stuff. I, I've gotten sea grapes. I've gotten... I've probably donated like four or five different things. Oh, Blue got me something. Let's see what they got. Let's see. What's it going to be? Nagito says they've caught 10 pearls in one day. Oh my gosh, that's that's crazy. That seems uh, nearly impossible. You must have spent a lot of time on that. 
Let's see. You know, if I could dive and catch fish by hand in this, that would be awesome. Boy, why do you, why do you have an axe whenever I'm coming out of the water? That's, uh, that's a little unnerving. Greeting me with an axe when I come out of the water. Let's see. I feel like doing a cannonball. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Cannonball! Boom! Oh, hey, what's up, bro? Oh, another cannonball. Here, dive on my face. See if you can do a cannonball on my face. Oh, I can't get out right there. I got to go on the beach. Let me see if I can jump on Caleb's head. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, let me jump on AJ. Let's see. Oh, close. Oh, how do you guys do those front flips? Espeon. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let me know when you renew your online. That would be awesome. Uh, Jack is asking when the showcase thing is happening this week. I, I think you're referring to the Xbox showcase. Uh, if you're talking about that, that's going to be on July 23rd. So that'll be awesome. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? What's this? What is this creature? Uh, Bank AK, I'm not going to be streaming the Xbox game showcase just because... Oh, this is a new creature. I haven't caught this one yet. Octopus. Nice. Sweet. Uh, just because I try and keep this mainly a Nintendo channel. So I'm just going to be doing Nintendo stuff on this channel. But I do have interest in other things like Xbox and Halo and stuff like that. Um, and in case you guys did see, I did a review on that game, Maneater, which, of course, as you know, it came out on Xbox, PC, and PlayStation. But the reason I reviewed that is because it's actually coming out on the Nintendo Switch later on this year. So that's the reason I reviewed it, in case you guys are interested in getting that game. It is a pretty good game. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. If you haven't seen my review, it's only three minutes long. It's really short, really short and concise. So uh, feel free to check that out. And I might have to go actually check out Red's uh, Treasure Trawler here in just a little bit, see what kind of artwork we can add. I think I actually might do that real fast. Let's take a short break from diving here. Let's just, since it's a very special day, since he's at my island, let's see what kind of goods he's got. If you guys want to come in here and check it out, let's see what kind of goods Red has today. Welcome, cousin. What's up, bro? Uh, I'm not the best at telling if a painting is fake or not, to be honest, so I'm just going to like take a look at this here for a second. Um, now this comes in handy if you guys have ever, if you're an art major, that fake, you know what? I'll take your word for that. If you're an art major in college or if you've taken art classes, then that's where your degree is really going to shine in this game. Why not? I'll go ahead and take that. It's just a giant rock. It looks like it's just like a tablet or something. Okay, let's. This looks pretty cool. What is this thing? Like he won't. Oh, you can only buy one thing at a time. He won't talk to multiple multiple people. Uh, the blue thing is fake too. For real? Man, you guys are good. How do you guys know all this stuff? Want to see your island? Yeah, I'll show you a little bit of the island here. Just a little bit. I was gonna buy a little piece of artwork here from my boy Red. Let's take a look. We got some women that are. Uh, trying to find their missing earrings off the ground. Interesting. Caleb, you're blocking my way! Move! That rock is fake. How do you guys know all that? Let us race. We might. We might. Might have to do a cannonball contest so you can do the biggest splash. Alright, Caleb, watch out, bro. I need to get out. Mr. Google is your best friend. I thought the blue thingy was real, too, until Blathers told me it was fake. Interesting. I'll probably buy something later. Let's go ahead and go back to swimming. And of course, I have people blocking the way out on this one too. What do you know? What are you guys doing down here? What are you, what are you digging up over here? I'm going this way. I have so many villagers that are trying to block my pathways.
Oh, I found something. I see bubbles. Oh, it's uh, a muscle. It's been working out. I can see those guns. They're really popping on that thing. All right, let's see what we got. We got a uh, Nook Miles Plus. What we get? Underwater understudy. We got. We found ten different sea creatures. Nice. Let's keep finding them. Maybe I'm tired. FC says thus is important. Do you like Hamilton on Disney Plus? You know, the funny thing is, I have Disney Plus, but I haven't seen Hamilton. I've I've heard of people talking about it, and it might be something worth looking into, but no, I haven't seen Hamilton yet. You know, I'm actually waiting on Disney Plus for the uh, the Loki series to come out, among uh, the other Marvel-type TV shows they're going to come out with. And by the way, if you guys have seen National Treasure with my boy Nicolas Cage, yeah, they're coming out with a National Treasure series. I think it's going to be on uh, Disney Plus because, you know, National Treasure is Disney. So that'll be cool. It's not going to have Nicolas Cage in it, which is a, a kind of a bummer, but I hear that National Treasure 3 is in the works and you can bet your cute little scooter that I'm going to be going to see that whenever it comes out in theaters. I'm so stoked. Uh, Minecraft Boy, what's up? What's up? How's it going? Minecraft Boy says Nintendo announced a t Nintendo Treehouse. So it seems like that might be the way that they're doing the Nintendo Directs, perhaps? I'll make sure to check it out. I know that uh, a couple people said that there was a Nintendo Direct on the 20th of July. So I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe that's a new announcement. A spotted garden eel. Is there another garden eel, too? Let's swap it out. I think I have uh, a couple other sea creatures. I know I've caught this one before. I'm going to go ahead and let that one loose. What's AJ doing? What are they doing over there? They're just kind of like standing still underwater. What's going on? I feel like there's a connection issue because they're just kind of sitting here. That's kind of weird. Direct is just a rumor. Okay, okay, inter that's interesting. I've already got that. Let's let that one loose. Caleb says help went stuck. Yeah, you guys look stuck. You're just kind of... Looks like you're having a hold your breath contest or something. Uh, let's see. Maybe on Tyra says, someone has bad words as name popped up in the top. Let's see. I don't I don't see anything. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for that. If anything's going on. Okay, let's see what this is down here. New creature, perhaps? And we got another moon jellyfish. I've already got one of those. We're going to let that one go here. Livo other word. Uh, the Dodo Code. So we actually, we already have a full lobby right now, but I mentioned it earlier. I don't, I, you might not have been here earlier, but uh, like I mentioned in the description, just keep an eye out on my community tab post for a chance to uh, join us for these events. AJ's drowning. Oh my gosh, AJ, I need to save you. Don't die on me. What'd you get? What'd you get, dude? Is, uh, is that a conch shell? Dude, nice catch. Natalia, what's up? What you need help with? Oh, I found more bubbles. Victoria James coming in the chat. What's going on? How's it going? What is up? A lot of moon jellyfish out here today. Uh, my embarrassing moments. Gosh, you know, I, I have to think about that one. I'm kind of, if I think of something, I will definitely let you know. I'm thinking through my whole life right now, actually. I'm thinking back to elementary school and middle school and high school. Uh... I don't know if I've had anything uh, embarrassing happen recently. I haven't had anything happen like my pants ripping or peeing my pants or anything like that, but let me do a little bit of thinking on that and I'll, I'll share my most embarrassing moment if I think of one. AJ, where are you at, bro? Why are you drowning on me? I can't have you die on me. 
Uh, Natalia asks, is Groucho rare? Who's Groucho? Is, he, is that a villager? Dude, why are you guys stuck underwater? I saw you guys back there, but I don't know how in the world you got stuck. I thought the game froze or something, or I thought uh, someone was backing out. I was wondering what was going on, but I don't know how to save you guys, or else I would. Uh, let's see, I need to let one of these creatures go. Alex, don't leave! Don't leave us! Let's see, is this a new DIY recipe? Message in a bottle. And we got a coconut wall planter. I already know that one. All right, back in the water we go. Yeah, I know. I have, an, I have a whole hour to think about my most embarrassing moment. I'm still thinking about it as I'm talking and as I'm playing this game. The only thing I'm thinking about is my most embarrassing moment. So, close out so we get out. What do you mean by that? Uh, webcam. Yeah, let me see if I can get the webcam on. Oh, there we go. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, I got a, got a fresh cut going on in case you guys haven't seen. It's uh, got the fade going on on the sides. But there we go. Um... Yeah, what's up, what's up, Victoria? Uh, you think the animation stopped while you were grabbing the sea creature, now you're soft lock. That's so weird, dude. I've never heard of that happening before. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Bane KK. Yep, fresh cut. That's uh, it was a couple weeks ago, actually. Uh, let's see, Natalia. Natalie says, can I have that DIY? Yeah, you can have it. I don't have any uh, need for it because I think, you know, I already have that one anyway, so... Yeah, feel free. I'll drop it on the ground, and I will let you have it for sure. But, uh, yeah, I kind of I need to do a little bit of trimming on the beard. It's getting a little bit long, so, yeah, I think I might have to cut this down quite a bit. But thanks for, thanks for saying I'm fresh. I think you're fresh. You guys are all fresh. Fresh like the Squid Sisters, girl. I'm still thinking of my most embarrassing moment, by the way, so don't think I'm not thinking about it, because I, I will share it. Um, I'm trying to think of elementary school. Did I? Um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one. I did think of one in elementary school, I'm going to tell you. So, I was in third grade, and I was a good kid in school, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and say that. I'm not a bad, I wasn't a bad kid. Um, but I probably hung out with the wrong crowd at some points. But I was in lunch one time, and I remember, I think we like dared one of my friends to moon and show his butt to one of the like the cafeteria ladies that was selling ice cream so like we had our backs to her and she was just sitting there selling ice cream and I remember like turning back behind me and she was like yawning and this lady's probably in her 60s so I feel so bad for her seeing like a third grader's butt but uh my friend he just he like pulled down his pants while he was sitting eating lunch and uh the cafeteria lady, <laughs> lady saw it I guess and I guess she told our teacher about it and I remember getting back to the classroom, and uh, we were going out to recess. Actually, before we went out to recess, my teacher's like, uh, I need to see... She's like, I need to see uh, this person, this person, this person. And so my name was called, and I had to go up and, and talk to the teacher. And I would, like, I never got in trouble really growing up. So this was, this was like a big deal. And uh, she's like, so I heard what happened, and you can either get a check mark in your folder, or you can miss recess. And recess is like 15 minutes of glory. You know, nobody wants to miss recess. Uh, but getting a check mark, my parents probably would have killed me. So, uh, needless to say, I chose to skip out on 15 minutes of recess, and I had to sit out on the side of the playground while everybody else was having fun playing hide and seek and tag and all that good stuff. So that was very embarrassing for me because I never got in trouble. So for elementary school, I'd say that was probably one of the worst things. Mayor Mayonnaise, I'll save you. Uh, as far as middle school goes, I need to think about middle school. I'm gonna be, th I'm gonna be thinking about that. Caleb, what's up? I see you're calling me. Jacob Garcia joining in the chat. What's going on, Jacob? Where are you at, man? Dude, they're torturing you. How horrible. These are horrible human beings. Caleb, I'm going to have to take you off the best friends list, bro, if you're going to keep 
torturing my buddies. That's right. I saved you. I saved you from this crooked person. Um, middle school, middle school. What happened in middle school? Roberto, what's going on? Joining in the chat. Can I swim under this airplane? That would be so awesome if I could. Nope, you can't. I have some troublemakers on my island. Trying to trap people and dig holes in my beautiful island. That's... How could you guys? I need to go out in these deeper waters. Oh, here we go. I need to find my first scallop or first pearl. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. I got a whelk. What is a whelk? I've never heard of a whelk before. I've heard of a conch shell, but this is something different. I'm going to have a lot of stuff to donate to blathers today, that's for sure. I already have a garden garden snake. Is that a snake or an eel? Anyways, I already caught one of those, so I'm going to let that one go. I can't think of anything that's embarrassing that happened in middle school, to be honest. Uh, high school... Mm. Well, I can't really think of anything. But if you guys have any more embarrassing moments, I would be happy to share it on the live stream if you guys want. So feel free to type in more stories, and I'll be happy to read it off. And maybe reading some of your memories might spark some of my memories too growing up as a kid. What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, sea urchin! I haven't even caught one of those yet. Oh my gosh. How'd you guys both catch one? There was only one shadow right there. How does that happen? Oh my gosh, what are we gonna get? This one's mine, bro. Okay, I already got the sea grapes. I've already got these like five times. Uh, let's see, Mayor Mayonnaise says, one time in fourth grade, I spilled chocolate milk on my pants. I haven't, I don't think, I never had that happen to me. Uh, let's see. Jack says, I tripped over my own feet in front of my class. I don't know if I've had that happen to me or not. I'm sure I have at some point. But thankfully, I didn't I didn't trip in graduation in high school. I remember, like, a lot of people, whenever they graduate high school, whenever they're walking across the stage, they're afraid of tripping on stage and humiliating themselves in front of everybody. But no, thankfully, I didn't have that happen. But I know that there was, there was people in my graduating class that were really self-conscious about that, too. And I think actually one or two people did trip whenever they walked across the stage. Ooh, what is this? A, a sea pineapple. Is that that's a real thing? I had no idea. It looks like an ice cream cone, kind of, with a weird texture ice cream. Yeah, let's swap it out. Let's uh, let's trade out the spotted garden eel. Uh, let's see what else. My favorite Mortal Kombat character. Uh, oh man, I'm trying to think of all of them. I haven't played Mortal Kombat in a while, actually. So I'm trying to like refresh my memory for all the fighters. I can't remember. I can't remember all the fighters. I can't even think of one name, to be honest. I'm sorry. Rachel says, got the flu and threw up on my desk. That would be embarrassing, especially in front of the whole class. Thankfully, I've never had that happen. I hope that doesn't ever happen in my future. Um, Caitlin says, hi, I'm new to this channel. I hope you catch wonderful things. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm hoping so, too. I'm hoping to get some uh, scallops or pearls today. I've caught a few new things today. Uh, as you can see, and what is this? Oh, this is a new creature too. We got uh, a sea slug. Nice. But yeah, I've caught it. I've caught the uh, eel before. I've caught the sea grapes. I've caught the octopus. So let's see. Another comment. Um, Lil Dozer says. Wait, hold on a second. I think I missed one. Natalie says they almost fell down the stairs in front of everyone at their elementary uh, school. Oof. Yeah, that would be a little bit embarrassing. Uh, Little Dozer says, is Animal Crossing worth it? I think I'm going to buy it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest about this one. It's a good game. I think, especially if you've never played Animal Crossing before, it's a good game. Uh, with me playing all the games in the series, I do think it's worth it. 
but I will say that there's there's things that are missing in this game that should be in here. Uh, like I say all the time, Tortimer Island, mini games, Brewster, more shops. If they add in those things, which I think should have been added from the beginning, then I would say it's 100% worth it. Uh, but yeah, I'd say it's worth it right now. I mean, if you've been playing it for a while, I know a lot of you guys have. I know a lot of you guys think this game is getting mundane and repetitive, and I agree with that. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's worth buying still. Because I know they're still going to keep updating this game in the future. I know there's going to be a lot of content added. It's just a matter of time before they do it. Let's see. Ben KK says, One time in middle school, I called myself... I called my teacher mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. How'd that turn out for you? Sub-Zero. Okay, yes, yeah, Sub-Zero. That's the one. That's the one I was thinking of. I couldn't think of the name, but I'd say that's my favorite, too. I used to play a Sub-Zero a lot on the, uh, the original Xbox Mortal Kombat. Scorpion. I remember that one, too. I remember that one. Let's see. Chinooka Queen has another embarrassing moment. What do you got? Swimming sick with your friends when you sneezed. You know what came out. It was very green, and they all saw it. Oh, that's 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 embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Um, AJ just got a scallop. Nice, dude. Very nice. All right, Blake's going home. See you, bro. Thanks for joining in. Gaming with Brandon and uh, Romeo says fishing tourney this Saturday. I saw that. I'm thinking about streaming that this Saturday because I, I didn't get to stream the last one. So I'm thinking about doing that this Saturday. So thanks for the reminder on that. What else do we got? My favorite superhero, the almighty Thor. Hammer. I know so many quotes from the first Thor movie. My favorite quote from the first Thor movie is, this drink, I like it. Another. That's a good quote. Let's see, Natalie says, I think lots of people have called a teacher mom or dad before. <laughs> Not me, I'm, I haven't been one of those to be honest, so I don't, I don't fall into that category. But I wonder how teachers react to that. Uh, with me being a teacher, I've never had anybody call me mom. I've had nobody call me dad before and I hope that doesn't ever happen. <laughs> That'd be a little bit weird. All right, I already have that one. Uh, if you stream the fishing tourney, can we help you get the prizes faster? You mean like you guys joining in? Maybe. Are you allowed to have multiple people? Multiple people uh... Oh, he's going to get that one. I, I don't know. Can you have multiple people on the same island um, and do the fishing tourney at once? Chinita Queen loves Thor too. Nice. I'm catching so many moon jellyfish, man. Where's all the scallops at? Has anything embarrassing happened to my students? Um, I'm trying to think. You know, the thing is about being a teacher is that you don't want to ever call out the kids or embarrass them. Uh, so I never do that. Um, I'm trying to think if I've seen any of my students do anything embarrassing. We had a kindergartner. I, I'm pretty sure it was a kindergartner or first grader, but they peed. And of course, I'm not going to say names or anything, but... It's not like you guys would know them anyway, but uh, one of the kids, they they actually peed in, in the gym. So we had to call the janitor to come in there and kind of mop it up and clean it up. But I don't think anybody ever noticed. And, you know, especially... Oh, my first scallop! Yes! But especially with them being so young, it's like these kids don't even notice if another one of their peers pees their pants. They're not going to have any idea, really. They're too young. But uh, thanks, guys, for the support. I need to go ahead and kind of... I have full pockets here, so I need to go put some stuff on the uh, the shoreline here and uh, get some pockets emptied up. But let's see what this is real fast. What is this? Other embarrassing moments? I don't think there's been any other embarrassing moments that my students have had besides that. That was really the biggest thing. Oh my gosh, what is this? So there's like two octopus. I don't think I've caught this one before. I caught a different one earlier. Uh, star, Sea Star? I can't remember if I've caught that. I want to say I have... Oh my gosh, I, re I really don't know. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Jack, spent a whole day with your fly undone. Nice, man. Smooth move. 
Willow TV, what's up? Uh, do I have any islands you can visit? Not at the moment, we're just kind of chilling. We're just uh, hanging out on my island doing some uh, deep sea fishing. But I think next week I'm planning to do another uh, island tour live stream, so. <laughs> Gaming with Brandon and Romeo, <laughs> that, that would be embarrassing, but that'd be so funny. I couldn't keep a straight face if, if that happened. That'd be so funny. Man. All right, let's see here. I need to drop some of these items off. Uh, so Caitlin and Roberto are asking about joining. I know we have a couple slots, actually. Let me see here. What is growing right here? Did someone plant a tree in my island? What the heck? Yeah, my bag is, it is so full. Yeah, and what I usually do, I usually like to invite people before the stream starts. That way, nobody has to wait on the loading times because I don't want you guys to have to watch all the loading screens and stuff like that. So, money bags. Someone's giving me more gifts. You guys are so nice. Yeah, let me go to the ABD machine. Let me kind of deposit all this stuff real fast. Um, but, can I friend you on the Switch? Uh, right now, for friends on the Switch, I'm accepting members that are medium spoon members or above. So if you guys do want to become a member, you can click the join button below, see what kind of cool benefits we have. And uh, we have a couple members. I know Jack's a member. We have Caleb. He's a member. And uh, members, I do give them first access to joining me on the live streams. So that's another one of the good benefits that they get. Uh, how many bells do I have? My, my picture's in the way. Let me kind of move that. I have a million one hundred thousand bells. Let me go ahead and... Go ahead and donate that big chunk of money. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I deposited the money. There we go. Got some more space. Open up. Maybe I'm tired. FC says you're a freaking teacher, a great musician, good at video games, and etc. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's. I, I like to do a lot of hobbies. That's for sure. Keep life interesting. So, yeah, YouTube. Uh, gaming, uh, photography, songwriting, playing guitar, singing. So I like to do a lot of things. And for you guys, I recommend just trying out a lot of hobbies too, you know. Uh, get out there, try new things, and, uh, you know, hopefully you guys will be able to find that you're good at a lot of stuff too. And I've been really getting into disc golf a lot lately too. So in case you guys don't know what disc golf is, if you're wanting to try a new hobby, especially being outdoors, look into disc golf. And I know some of you guys probably haven't heard of it before. I'm not sure how big it is outside of the U.S., but I know here in the U.S. it's it's getting rather popular. You know, it's kind of getting up there. But yeah, I've been doing that a lot, a lot the past couple weeks, and it's been a lot of fun. Let's see here. Let's do. Let's yeah. Let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and donate all that. Why not? How do I film on the Switch? I know that's a really popular question. If you get a if you get a game capture card, uh, I use the Elgato. Then there's different ones you can use too. You don't have to use the Elgato, but uh, I use a capture device, the Elgato. Just plug it in your Switch, and there's a cable you plug into your laptop or computer, and you can live stream games or record footage, whatever you want to do. So that's what I do. But for those of you guys who are wanting to come to the island and hang out and stuff, like I said, just keep an eye out on my community tab post. Make sure you comment on the community tab post so I can uh, give you a chance to join on the streams. So if your comment receives a heart on those community tab posts, then you are selected to join on these live streams. You found a ger -tear. Caleb, what's a ger -tear? Oh, we got an octopus. Nice. Well, at least we got a scallop today. So that's good. I'm still thinking of embarrassing moments while I'm uh, playing games right now. I'm like, I'm still thinking about it, so don't worry. I'm really trying to think back through high school and see if there's any embarrassing moments. 
And I'm thinking through college. I no, I did think of one more thing, and this one's actually kind of serious because this was this is a really personal one. Uh, before I read, before I tell you about it, let me kind of read this comment real fast. All right, maybe I'm tired. Of FC sounds good. That's awesome. Um, a really embarrassing moment for me is I don't know how many of you guys have anxiety, but a few years ago in college, it, you know, I, I was like a couple years out of high school and you know, kind of starting out college, and I was going through a really stressful time in life, and I uh, started dealing with the really bad anxiety, you know, having panic attacks, and it's it's not fun. But I remember. I was at work, I was a server in a restaurant, and I just remember, people said I looked really pale, and I just remember my heart was racing, and I started feeling nauseous, and and so I went home from work, work that day, and I think it was probably a day or two later whenever I went to my college class, I, it was in history, and we had a test to take that day, and I was sitting in my chair, you know, we were taking the test, and just like out of nowhere, my heart starts racing, and like I have no saliva being produced, and I'm completely freaking out and out of nowhere I have this panic attack and I just boom dash out of the classroom and I don't know why it happened but I'm sure I looked like a complete idiot just running out of my college classroom and everyone's like what the heck is wrong with this guy but yeah had a panic attack in college class in front of like 30 people was not a very good experience and so I was sitting outside the classroom for probably a good like 10 minutes just wondering what the heck just happened uh, and I ended up struggling with really bad anxiety from that moment on for a couple years and it was very very difficult So I'd say that was a, a pretty embarrassing moment, but thankfully um, I'm not really dealing with anxiety much anymore You know I've gotten out of that and if you guys ever need help with anxiety need some advice or anything Just let me know and I'll be happy to help you out with uh, what you might be going through and share some of my uh, My life experience how you can get out of it but I did get out of it, and I thought I would never be able to get out of it. Very, very dark time in my life. Very, very dark time. So, if you guys have never had anxiety, don't ever go through it. It's not fun. Ooh, a sea urchin. Nice. Uh, Natalia, let me see. Call of 2007, what's up? I'm trying to, I'm kind of scrolling back through here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, guys, if you want to share your embarrassing moments, feel free to type in your uh, embarrassing moments in the chat. Full honest opinion. That's a deep question. Am I happy right now? There's always, there's always times in life where it's uh, a little difficult to view things on the bright side, but I do try and view things on the bright side for the majority of things. I'd say I'm, I'm pretty, pretty optimistic for the most part. There's some days where I'm, uh, you know, a little down at times, but I think for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty happy. You know, just finding uh, joy in the simple things in life, I think, is the biggest piece of advice. You know, because life, if you think about it, life is pretty much the same every day. So if you have a job that you don't like, or if your life is the same thing every day and you don't like what you do, then you're going to have a bad life. If you have a fun job, if you have fun hobbies, then you're going to have a good life. You know, you're going to have a fun time. Because if you think about it, you know, you wake up, you do the same things every day. I mean, especially when you're older, if you have a job and all that stuff. So. Like for me, I love teaching. I think it's a lot of fun. I love teaching PE. So for me, it's fun every single day. You know, if I had a job like where I was in an office just working in a cubicle all day, I wouldn't have a very happy life. I'd just be living for the weekends. And in that case, my life would be pretty miserable. So. Definitely think about what you guys want to do for a living before just jumping into it. Don't don't go for the money. You're not going to be happy if you go for the money. I promise that. Promise that. Um, maybe I'm tired. FC asks, what are the symptoms of anxiety? Uh, you get a racing heart. You're constantly nervous. Uh, if you have chronic anxiety, you're thinking negative thoughts a lot. Um, your heart races, you're, you're shaking, you have lack of saliva, you feel nauseous, uh, and it's coupled with depression too, you'll, you'll be pretty depressed. Now people have acute anxiety or chronic anxiety, if you have acute anxiety, you know, if you're, if you're in front of like a tiger in the wild, of course you're going to have anxiety because you're going to want to run away, you know, you're going to have that fight or flight response. 
But if you have chronic anxiety and you're nervous and anxious all the time, then you're constantly going to feel those symptoms. And it's not fun. Let's see what we got. Oh, dude, we caught an octopus at the same time. Oh my gosh. Amazing Craze says, me becoming a music teacher is definitely not going to be a lot of money. At least I'm going to enjoy it. For sure. For sure. Um, with me being a teacher, I don't make a lot of money. You know? I mean, it's definitely a lot more than what I made being a, a server in a restaurant. That's for sure. You know, whenever you get your first paycheck going from making, you know, like $10 an hour uh, at a restaurant or, you know, working at a movie theater to getting a paycheck of, like, $2,000, that's a pretty big difference. Like, you feel rich, but you, you know you're really not. But, you know, you want to do what makes you happy, for sure. But that's cool you want to be a music teacher. I actually thought about doing that when I went to college. I was uh, going to be a music teacher, but then I observed a music teacher at, a, at another school. And I was like, you know what? That's not what I want to do. I'm more of like a, a rock band type person. I like writing songs and singing and stuff like that. So, yeah, teaching music in that capacity is not my thing. Although I did teach guitar lessons for a while to students, and I did enjoy that. I thought that was a lot of fun. I see some, uh, what is this down here? But I'm just kind of reading through these comments real fast. Jack H says, I went to sing at a hosp to a hospital and sounded like a dead car. <laughs> Dude, that's intense. Oh my gosh. I'm just kind of scrolling through here, seeing what else we got. Let's see. But... I think a lot of people have anxiety, and I know that's kind of like a hot topic of this live stream. We're kind of getting into it a lot. But uh, most people have either gone through anxiety or they struggle with anxiety. But I got through it, and I know, I know for me, whenever it seemed impossible, and I kid you not, it really did seem impossible. I know you guys can get through it too. And like I said, if you need uh, any words of encouragement, just you know, let me know. Feel free to message me on Discord. I'd be happy to chat with you guys. But it's not an uncommon thing, that's for sure. Blue, uh, you shouldn't be cutting down my trees. I gave you guys the role of being my best friend for a reason on Animal Crossing. If I take that away, I'll take it away. So, that's not cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Amazing Craze says, I plan on teaching in Japan. That'll be cool. I want to go there one day. Uh, maybe I'm Tired FC says, do your students know about my channel? It's funny because I talked to him about it. Uh, whenever I hit 10,000 subscribers, I remember telling my students, I was like, guys, I was like, I hit 10,000 subscribers. And they were asking, like, what's, well, well, let me back up a little bit. Whenever I first met them and I introduced myself, I was like, you know, my name is so-and-so. My hobbies are this, this, this. And, of course, I mentioned YouTube as one of my hobbies. And so they, they were asking about it. They are like, what's your YouTube channel, coach? And so, uh, of course, I didn't tell them because I'm not supposed to tell them. But, yeah, they would ask about it. So I give them little updates and stuff like that, and I was like, you know, I'll tell you once you graduate high school. Oh, what is this? Got some seaweed. Nice. Let me go ahead and swap that out. Let's see. What do we want to swap that for? Let's swap it out for the sea grapes. Let's see. What other kind of comments we got? Let's see, maybe I'm tired says, I do want to do my dream and become a YouTuber that does stop motion and I have no money, young and very, very dumb. I don't believe that. You can do anything you set your mind to and you don't have to have money to start YouTube. You know, you can start YouTube just, if you have a cell phone, you can you can make it happen with just that. You don't have to have expensive equipment. And I remember uh, before I had a capture card on my Switch, I would just, I would make videos on my phone, you know, doing like just uh, videos with pictures and yeah, it was, it was not very good starting out. I'm going to go ahead and say that. But definitely go for it. If you want to do something, do it. Let me go see Caleb. He's uh, calling me over here. Let's see. Medley Draw says, One time, like in fifth grade, a kid was jumping on desk and tripped over one and fell, knocking over like six desks. Sounds like that kid needs to go to the principal's office, if you ask me. Roberto, hey, AJ. Roberto's asking us to do another Mario Party uh, live stream on Animal Crossing. We might have to do that. That was a lot of fun. That was on AJ's Island. And, man, he did a good job putting that together, honestly. 
All right, what's up? What's up, Caleb? Let's see, do I have a full pocket? Yeah, I need to let some of this stuff go. Let me see if I can let... Let's let that go. I don't know if it'll survive in a river or not, but let's hope so. Let's toss out the sea grapes. We don't need that anymore. Let's toss out... I need, I need the sea urchin. That's a new creature. And... We got the, uh, I don't know if I've caught those yet or not. Let me keep that for now. Sea slug, that's new. Sea anemone. Uh, I want to say I caught that out. I can't remember, though. Uh, by the way, Natalie, I know you said that you wanted the coconut wall planter, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down by... I'm going to go ahead and put that down here for you so you can get that uh, whenever you want. I'm going to put that by the airport here, so feel free to pick that up whenever you want. And I saw a couple fossils. I'm going to go ahead and dig those fossils up, by the way. Victoria James says, In our school, we had Danny DeVito worship area in the bathroom. What? Are you serious? That's that's a little disturbing. That's weird. <laughs> Anna, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. It's been like a month or so since I've seen you on the channel. Good to have you back. How's it going? Uh, I, I believe we have... I think we have a couple slots left. I might be able to put my dodo code in the chat for you guys. Give me one second. Let me dig up this fossil. Let me uh, kind of clear my pockets a little bit and then I'll type in the dodo code. I think we have maybe two more slots open. So apparently, apparently blue is being a rebel on my island. Might have to give her the band, ha band hammer here. But yeah, how's it going? How's it going, Anna? It's been a while. Anything new? Anything going on? Thought you might have fallen off the face of the earth. All right. Let's see. Let me get the dodo code in case a couple of you guys want to join. So feel free, get your wetsuit. I'm going to post the dodo code in the chat here in about one minute after I clear my pockets out. Yeah, we might have to do another Barney Party game. Yeah, that, that was awesome. We did that a couple times. Anna got five stars on their island. Nice. Congrats. Very cool. What's up, AJ? All right, let's see here. Uh, can I put things in storage? Am I allowed to do that? Sweet. All right, I'm going to come back and uh, get these later and put those in the museum. Let me kind of clear my pockets out a little bit. And then after I do this, I'll get the dodo code and we have a couple more slots open and you guys can join in for a little bit. Give me just one second. Got my scallop, yes. Oh, barnacles. Let's put the fossils in there. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and get the dodo code for you guys. Okay, first come, first serve and I'm going to type it in the chat here. All right, here we go. Dodo codes coming your way. All right, here we go. Boom. Dodo code is in the chat. Feel free. Come on and join the party. Uh-uh-uh. Yeah, I think there's like two slots open and for the island. So, let's see who it's going to be. Oh, is this a shark? Oh, let's see what we're going to catch. We got a... What is that? Is that a... That's not a... That's like a... It looks like a, looks like a saw or something. What is that? I'm so jello right now. I want to catch a shark. All right, we got someone on their way here. Let's see who it is. Sorry if you guys hear barking in the background. Waffles is uh, getting really excited. All right, I guess we already have two people joining. But yeah, um, if you guys are a best friend on my island, I appreciate if you guys do me a favor of not digging any holes, not chopping down trees. Uh, if I gave you that that 
privilege of being a best friend. Please use it wisely. I wouldn't trash your island, so please don't trash my island. Mutual respect. A saw shark. Yeah, well, that's what it was. A saw shark. Let's see here. Okay, what else we got? Uh, maybe I'm tired. It says, do I like with my parents? I think you meant to say, do I live with my parents? For now, but, but I'll tell you this, I'm moving, uh, to my own, my own place next month. Um, so that'll be like late August. Um, and also I'm, I'm starting work here in the next few weeks. Um, uh, in about three weeks, so things are gonna get pretty busy, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live stream as much whenever school starts, because they are making us go back to school from uh, the coronavirus. Uh, so I'll, I'll be going back to school, working full time in the next few weeks, and it's gonna be pretty busy. I might still stream on the weekends, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be busy. So I'm not sure how the uh, stream schedule is gonna look, but I will I will keep you guys updated. All right, let's see. AJ says I should unfriend Blue. I might have to have a talk with, with Blue. Um, Big Spoon evolved into Mature Spoon. <laughs> Growing up, man. Becoming a man. Nice. Jack's birthday's in three weeks. Awesome, dude. August 1st. Very cool. We got Razi coming from Kyoto. Nice. Uh, Caitlin, I do have all the fruits. I do have all the fruit. Sure do. Oh, AJ. Dude, your birthday's on the same day as my wife's. August 21st. Turning 17. Nice, man. Very cool. Man, I, I miss the good old days of being 17 years old. Good times, good times. What's up, Razi? I don't have gold roses. I don't. I don't have those yet. I still need to get those. And uh, I don't even think I have black roses either. Yeah, everyone is young. Yeah, everyone is young. Jack's 15. Shoot, I'm in, I'm in my 20s and you guys are all teenagers. Let's just say this. I don't feel my age, so that's a good thing. I feel younger than what I am. And really, uh, there's a quote from a song by Yellow Card, and it goes, They say you don't grow up, you just grow old. And it's true. You're only as old as you feel. I need to catch some more creatures. Let's go, uh, let's go dive. Let's see what, what we got. Natalie's in her early 20s. Nice. Nice, so we're pretty close in age. Medley Draws is 13. Amazing Crazes, uh, and Amazing Crazes, 21. Nice. 21, the magic age. Am I gonna do a Draw My Life? What is that? Caleb's turning 11. Victoria's 14. A Whale's 13. Man, you guys are in the prime time of life. Enjoy being a teenager while you can, because I'll tell you what, it goes by fast. A lot of good times being a teenager. Dude, AJ, you still are a kid, man. Being 16, you're just a baby. Gosh, you guys are going to learn a lot in the next few years, I'll tell you that. A whale's birthday is on 9-11, dude. Historical time, man, back in 2001. Yeah, Natalie, for sure, for sure. These are all babies in this live stream. We're like the only ad adults here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna babysit you guys, it's okay. <laughs> An Amazing Craze says, I'm about to graduate. I'm scared as heck to start being an adult. It's weird, I'm telling you, man. It's so weird being an adult, you know, like getting your own car and paying for stuff and, and buying a house. Oh, it's, it's so weird. So weird. 
but you, you do get a little bit more freedom, I will say that. Whenever you get a car, you can start driving more places. It's pretty nice. It has, it has its advantages, I will say that, but it also has its disadvantages. Life is not as simple as it is whenever you're a kid. So I'm, this is the biggest advice I can give you guys that are teenagers, and this is, this is completely true, so don't take this lightly. Enjoy the time while you can because it goes by fast. Enjoy the freedom that you have, not having to have a job, not having to have responsibilities. It, it's the most amazing thing that you'll never get back. And I wish I could get that back. <laughs> but enjoy your time for sure. And you take it for granted right now, but I promise in five, 10 years, you won't, you'll, you'll miss it. I miss it. Um, Janine Queen says their mind is 19, but you're 23. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. I feel like I'm still like 18 years old. I haven't seen Patriots Day. I haven't seen that one. We got Horsey Love from Astro Isle. Nice. Dude, Caleb, life's going to change when you go to middle school, man. It's a different ball game. And don't try and conform. Don't try and, like, find yourself in middle school. Don't try and fit in or anything like that. Just be yourself. That's one of the biggest things. If I can go back, if I can go back to middle school and high school, I would try to not dress a certain way and try to oppress anybody. You know, just be yourself. That's the most important thing. I remember like back in middle school, that's one of the things. Um, I remember so many people, and this is like back in 2007, 2008, so you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about, but Hollister and American Eagle were some big fashion uh, designs, you know, those stores. And so everyone was dressing up like in these designer jeans and, you know, wearing Hollister and Abercrombie being preppy. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to be one of those guys too. So I, I bought those clothes and stuff like that. But if I can go back, I wouldn't even wear Hollister and American Eagle. I would just, you know, wear, uh, you know, black skinny jeans and, you know, a, a V-neck or just a solid color shirt. That's my style now. So, you know, that's what I would do if I could go back. I would change it. Uh, but what would you guys change if you can go back? Let's see. Nah, Chinita Queen, I'm not a boomer. I'm not that old. I'm a freaking 90s kid. I'm a millennial. Uh, let's see. Red Gamer, the way you become a member, if you click the join button below, there should be a blue join button. Click on that, and you can see all the different tier levels you can choose from, and uh, you can select which one works best for you. AJ, where are you going to go to college for? You? 10 years of college? Are you going to be a doctor? You gotta be, you're probably gonna be a doctor if you're going for 10 years. Let's see. Uh, who do I main in Smash? Honestly, I like being random characters. I don't really have a main. I think I'm pretty good as Lucas, but I think being random characters is fun because I like to get good as all of them, really. But uh, Red Gamer, I hope that answers your question about becoming a member. Let me know if you need any help, but I hope that answers your question. Yeah, AJ, what's your, what do you want your job to be? What are you gonna go to college for? By the way, a job does not define who you are, just just, uh, just so we're on the same page. Uh, cardiologist, dude, nice. So you're going to be taking anatomy and physiology too. That, oh my gosh, that's the coolest class I've ever taken. Anatomy and physiology is incredible. Our bodies are so wonderfully and uniquely made. But yeah, don't go for the money. Do it because you want to do it. Do it because it's fun. You want to have a fun time going to work every day. Oh, snap. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? But yeah, bro. Middle school is insane. Like, everyone is trying to act like hot stuff and trying to be popular and all that good stuff. Don't worry about all that crap. Let's see. I'm trying to read through all these. Oh, it's swimming away. I'm, I'm stuck underwater. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there we go. I'm moving now. There we go. That was so weird. That was a long loading screen for that. Uh, Red Gamer, it might be because your age or your uh, country settings. Go to your Google account, check and make sure your age is above, I think it's like 16 or 18. So you might have to change your birthday, you might have to change your country to the U.S. if it's not in the U.S. Uh, so then that, that should change it to where the blue join button appears. Let's see what else we got. Do I have any pets? I do. I, I, we have a, me and my wife have a wiener dog. His name's Waffles. And he's like, he's going to be 12 years old pretty soon. 
And uh, we're gonna get a German Shepherd puppy here in a little bit so we can breed them. Uh, we can breed German Shepherds with my parents' German Shepherds. Uh, my parents, they actually have, uh, their, their German Shepherd puppies are eight weeks old as of yesterday and they sold all of them and they're completely adorable. I might have to post a picture of uh, those puppies on my Discord server. So if you're not on Discord, uh, click the link in the description box, join the Discord server. I might have to post those puppy pictures because they are so cute. But uh, do you guys have any pets? But yeah, Waffles, he's a cutie. He's a cutie. Let's see. Natalie loves German Shepherds. They're good dogs. They're really loyal. Yeah, I'll have to post those on there. If I forget, just remind me. And then I'll, I'll make sure to post those pictures in there. Uh, let's see, my pockets are... Wait, are my pockets full? What do we got? Uh, yeah, I have some open slots. I'm still good. But I think my favorite breed of dogs is probably Yorkshire Terriers, or Yorkies for short. I think they're so adorable. I love lap dogs, uh, especially the teacup Yorkies. They're just so freaking adorable. And they have little mustaches. I like to pull on their mustache. It's so funny. They're so cute. Demon from under your bed. What's going on? How's it going? Thanks for joining in. Natalie's got a golden lab. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, if you guys ever want to, if you want to buy a German Shepherd, hit me up. I'll sell you a German Shepherd. You can get one. What's a Westie? I never heard of a Westie before. Let's see, what kind of other creatures can we find? I need to find a pearl. That's what I need. I need a pearl. <laughs> yeah, I'm tempting you. Come buy, come buy one of these German Shepherds. Come and get it. Now, we've already sold all the ones uh, from the litter, but the next time we breed, we'll, we'll be having them available, so... Yo, what's up, guys? We're all just kind of hanging out in this big huddle right here. What's up? What's up? My buddies, my island buddies. Uh, do I know why people are mean in middle school? Honestly, you know, I've thought about that. I think the reason is because everyone's trying, like, I think once you get out of elementary school, it seems like people are trying to be something they're not. They're trying to prove themselves by being popular, and they're trying to be the popular kid in school, and they want to be cool, and so they think it's cool to pick on others and elevate themselves, but it's it's not really cool. It's really, it's, it's just immature, really. I think the cool kid in school is the one that gets along with everyone and, and treats people with respect and is... Those are the people that everyone wants to hang around with, so... Yeah, don't be a jerk. <laughs> try try to talk to as many people as you can, really. If I can go back, I'd probably be more outgoing. Let's see, what we got? I'm gonna do a cannon... I feel like doing a cannonball. I haven't done a cannonball in a while. Yeah, I think... Yeah, dude, AJ, I completely agree. I think everyone regrets middle school. Like, that's where you're trying to find yourself, and it's all awkward. For sure. Uh, not joking, literally everyone from my middle school is sweet as pie. Dude, what kind of middle school do you go to? Like, I've I've never heard of anyone having a nice middle school, but I guess you're the lucky one. That's a very rare occurrence, probably. So consider yourself lucky, then. I wish I would have had a middle school like that. Natalia says, I used to be very social and almost everyone loved me. Well, lucky you. <laughs> Being the popular kid in school. I don't think I was really popular, you know? Like, middle, elementary school, I had a lot of friends in classes. Middle school, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I had a few friends in middle school, but I wouldn't say I, was, I wasn't popular, for sure. Uh, high school, probably average, the average kid, you know? I think the only reason I was popular in high school is because uh, my band played in our Battle of the Bands event, so I think my name got out there from that. So people knew of me from that. We're, we, I mean, we played in front of like 2,000 people in front of the school, so I'd say once I got in my band, I think that kind of made things a little bit different. That was like in 10th grade. 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. 
But I'd say confidence levels, they, they get pretty high once you get like to, to be the top dog in the high school. Once you're freshman in high school, you're, you're kind of like the awkward fish in the sea. But once you're like juniors and seniors, you feel like you're top dog. Demon uh, from one of the beds says, I'm in college and literally no one cares about anything you do. It's true, it's totally true. For you guys that are like 15 in this live stream and 13 years old, once you get to college, seriously, nobody, I, I can tell you from first-hand experience, nobody cares in college. You know, people wear their freaking pajamas to, to college classes. And I'm not exaggerating either. Yeah, nobody cares what you wear in college. Nobody cares what you do. They just go to classes and they leave. Not even joking. Unless you're in a sorority and you're one of the sorority girls. You're wearing one of your, your long shirts that cover your butt and you wear leggings and all that good stuff. But no, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was never in a fraternity or anything like that. So I can't really say much about that. <laughs> but yeah, going, going to college, nobody cares. It's, it's so funny. It's so funny how like everything changes once you get out of high school. It's so awesome. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad, glad to make you happy. Glad I can make you smile. Now, Natalie's got a blast. All right, cool. I think we'll probably end the stream here in just a little bit too. Just gonna read some more comments. Let me go ahead and end the stream, by the way, because I know some of you guys are probably wanting to head out. Let me go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and end the session. Make it easy for all you guys. Um, let's see, let's see. But yeah, Natalie, thanks for coming. Thank you all for joining the stream. It was good to have you guys here. Uh, let's see. An amazing craze says, oh, communication error, of course that happens. Amazing crazy day. You're in a you were in a frat, co-ed frat. That's sick. I never heard of a co-ed frat. That's crazy. How's that going? Uh, freshman year was the best so far. Yeah, senior year is pretty good. All right. So I think we're gonna go ahead and stop the stream right there. I had a fun time diving. Please tell me. Yes, I got all my creatures still here. I'm gonna have to go donate those after I stop the live stream. Um, actually, tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and donate those. If you guys want to keep chatting, I can go ahead and donate those to the museum real fast. If you guys want to hang out for a little bit, I'll kind of read some more comments if you guys want to. A band fraternity, Kappa Kappa Sapai. I don't even know. The fraternity names, the sorority names, like it's beyond me. Um, let's see. Let me go to my storage here. I have so much crap in this storage, it's not even funny. <laughs> I need to get I need to get rid of some of this stuff in storage, it's so bad. I don't even know where all my creatures are at, to be honest. Where is it? Where is it? Is it like in a special... Oh, there we go, creatures. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's move that to the Spotted Garden Eel. I think I already have that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a hoarder, I'll tell you that. For sure. Uh, pockets are full. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and let's go donate these real fast. Uh, Mario Party. I'm not sure when we're gonna do that again. AJ hosted that on his island, and it was freaking incredible. It was awesome. I'm not sure what date that's gonna be on, but yeah, we definitely need to do that one again sometime soon. That that would be awesome, for sure. Um, but I'll tell you what, next week. I'm planning to do a fishing tournament. I've never done it before. Uh, I can't believe I've never even thought about it, but I'm thinking about doing a fishing tourney next week on my island where we can see who catches the most fish within a certain time limit and we can have like 10 rounds and whoever gets the most points after 10 rounds gets a, a reward. So I think that'd be kind of cool to do. All right, let's see, make a donation. Elo, you made it. Okay, let's see what we got. Sea slug, octopus. I didn't get the octopus, so I'm glad I kept that one. Oh my gosh, we got so much stuff to donate. Look at all this. Marley Max says, most of my friends were in higher grades than me, so I'm hoping to find new friends senior year. That's pretty cool. I guess I guess you must be mature to get, uh, get a lot of older friends. That's a good thing, for sure. Let's see. All right, let me go get some more donations. But honestly, another crazy thing too is that once you get to be like outside of 
once you're in college, it doesn't really matter. Like the friend groups, I mean, I have, you know, friends that are, I don't know, different age groups. I mean, you become friends with older people too, like 30s and 40s and stuff like that. So I don't know, I guess it just comes with maturity. Okay, let's see. Let me donate some more stuff. The way I pronounced it had you dead in Amazing Craze. What did, what did I announce weird? Like, I, like I pronounce Tortimer. I, I pronounce that Tor Timer. I know people don't like that, but I guess it's like my southern accent. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's whatever. I'm cool with that if you guys laugh at it. Moon jellyfish. Pockets are full. Yeah. One time, let's see, Elo says, oh, demon from under your bed. <laughs> yeah, don't wear, don't wear PJs if that's the case, or just wear different kinds of PJs, I guess. <laughs> Elo says, one time my friend pushed me to get a creature, then I was supposed to push her to get her to get a creature. She actually pushed me. That, 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 that's hard to follow. I'm like getting lost reading this comment. Do you guys pronounce it Tor Timer or Tortimer? I've always pronounced it Tor Timer. He's like an old guy, you know? You call old people Tor Timer, you know? It makes sense. Dang, I already have all those creatures? Wow. Okay. Um, moon Jellyfish. Nah, I'm good. I don't, I don't want to hear any facts about it. Sorry, guys. I'm the only different one. I pronounce it Tor Timer instead of Tortimer. I'm the different one. I know, I know, I know. But, you know, I can, I can live with that. That's cool. Okay, let me... Let me clear this out real fast. I need to get a few more creatures out of my, uh, my storage shed inside my house because my house is completely filled with all sorts of crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got so much stuff in my house. It's unbelievable. I don't want to show it off. I want... Oh, let me show off my muscles. Boom. You guys like that flex. Don't lie. I know you dig that. I know you think that's hot. All right. Let me go ahead and get the rest of those creatures here. Uh, Caleb calls him Torty. Nice, dude. Oh, I just ran over my own flowers. Oh, my gosh. Dude, Torty is a good one. I never even, I never even heard of that before. That's so awesome. Tortimer the Torty, the tortoise, the tortoise. All right, let's see how many of these creatures are brand spanking new. I got so much crap in my storage. It's oh my gosh, I probably have like a thousand items in there. I need to decorate my house. I need to decorate my living room. Need some inspiration. Okay. Audie! Let's see, uh, we have some new messages on the board here. We got, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We got a message from AJ with his beautiful crown. Splatoon 2, nice. What is this? I'm Mikey Mouse. That's like a terrifying Mickey Mouse. He's gonna come haunt me in my dreams. I wish I wouldn't have seen that. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Okay, let's see if we have, oh my gosh, I blocked my pathway. No. Nice. Elo building a school and a restaurant. Sweet, dude. Another music stream? Maybe. I know not everyone's into that since it's more of a Nintendo uh, related uh, Nintendo related YouTube channel, but maybe I might have to do a private uh, music stream and post it in the Discord if you guys are interested in that. Because uh, I know some of you guys enjoy that. By the way... Wait, have I already donated all this stuff? Oh, okay, okay, I've already donated all that stuff. Um, I have part two of that live stream from the gig that I played. I know you guys haven't seen the part two of it. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably post that, make it like private or something so you guys can check it out. Um, but I'm glad you guys liked it. For those of you guys that checked it out, that, that means a lot. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I might end up posting that. Um, I'm going to post my puppy pictures of the German Shepherds in the Discord chat here in just a second. And 
Thank you guys for joining the stream. I'm going to give you guys a shout out, each individual one of you that are in the chat that I can see. So thank you, uh, AJ, for joining, Marley Mack, Victoria James, Medley Draws, Natalia, Roberto, Elo, Caitlin, uh, An Amazing Craze, all you guys. Thanks for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Caleb, thanks for joining. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys.